Well, hello again. Here's a, another good one for the yes or no treatment. Uh, the question is, was Pope John Paul II a success? Uh, what do I mean by success? I'm afraid, you know, you're going to have to decide that for yourself, depending on your point of view as you approach a video like this. When I heard that a Polish cleric named Karol Wojtyła had been elected Pope, I said, Polish Pope? If so, this was going to be the first non-Italian in, what, 500 years. Well, it was true. The result of that was one of the most charismatic, long-reigning popes in history. Not without controversy. People are either devoted to John Paul now, St. John Paul, or even St. John Paul the Great, or they condemn him. Well, let's look at the arguments. First of all, let's, let's look at those who say, yes, he was a success. Uh, most of all, he was charismatic. He was an attractive figure. Um, he therefore helped to strengthen the image of the church, as a consequence, the devotion of the faithful. Uh, he was a strong and inspirational leader. You, you only had to see the crowds that he attracted. He was a hugely influential and effective opponent to communism in Poland before his pontificate, and that had a major impact on its eventual collapse in Europe, even. And he took steps as a pope to promote cooperation and theological dialogue with a range of uh, Protestant bodies. And of these, maybe the first in importance had to be with Lutheranism. He extended his hand. Uh, and of course, uh, Martin Luther and his followers were among the most uh, significant causes of the historic split in Western Christianity. So it took some gumption to do that. Uh, the relationship between Catholicism and Judaism improved. Uh, his attitude, of course, was shaped by his own experience of the terrible fate of the Jews in Poland. He visited the Auschwitz concentration camp, where a lot of his compatriots had perished. He was the first pope to do so. Uh, he issued a document uh, called We Remember, a Reflection on the Shoah. And he explained his feelings on the Holocaust. So the, the first, he was the first pope known to have made an official visit to a synagogue. He visited the great synagogue in Rome. And he established formal diplomatic relations between the Holy See and the State of Israel. He, he received members of a survivor community, a Holocaust survivor community, in a special audience in the Apostolic Palace. And he visited Yad Vashem in Israel, the National Holocaust Memorial. Uh, Memorial. He said, I assure the Jewish people, the Catholic Church is deeply saddened by the hatred, acts of persecution, and displays of anti-Semitism directed against the Jews by Christians at any time and in any place. Uh, in addition to all of that, he made public apologies for a, a lot of wrongdoings on the part of the Church. Of course, this really took some moral fiber as well. Uh, the most famous, of course, he apologized for the legal process on the, and the, uh, the persecution, really, of the scientist and philosopher Galileo Galilei, who himself was a devout, devout Catholic. Uh, he apologized for the church hierarchy's awful role in burnings at the stake and the religious wars that followed the Protestant Reformation. Um, so that was really impressive that he did that. And for many Catholics, and even some non-believers, he was a deeply spiritual man, and he conveyed that to those who met him. After all, that was an important part of the job, really. Um, all in all, uh, John Paul II was an activist pope. He, he accomplished a great deal during his pontificate. And for many, therefore, he was a true success in his job. Okay, well, of course, not everybody agrees with that. What about those who would say, oh, no, I'm afraid not, no, he was not a success. Where do they start? Well, unsurprisingly, uh, they talk very much about the problem of uh, the pedophile priest. Some, as a consequence of this, some question the validity of the beatification, his beatification, calling into question both the validity of the purported miracle and the rapidity of the beatification in the light of those sexual abuse scandals. Uh, but he has been criticized perhaps more than in any other issue for not 
recognizing and doing anything about uh, the whole sexual abuse uh, explosion which erupted in America toward the end of his pontificate. Allowing diocesan bishops to transfer pedophile priests from one parish to another instead of reporting their crimes to the authorities. Uh, he's further accused of hi hindering Cardinal Ratzinger, uh, his right-hand man, who allegedly was trying to investigate these reports of uh, sexual abuse. Unbelievably, he supported and was seen in public with Father Marcial Maciel de Goyado, the founder, the founder of the Legion of Christ, a great money raiser for the church, and one of the most notorious sexual criminals in church history. Uh, de Goyado was a uh, drug addict, apparently an embezzler of church funds. He lived in luxury, not afforded, afforded to ordinary clergy. How could John Paul have supported this man? I, I, I think it was just awful. He beatified uh, 1,300 people. That's the first step to sainthood, beatification. And that was more than the total of all of his predecessors for the previous 500 years. <laughs> it didn't that occur to him that he was kind of cheapening the greatest honor that can be bestowed by the church? That seems to me. And he had a history of protecting senior prelates proven to have engaged in or covered up sexual misconduct by priests and even rewarding them with positions in the Vatican. Men like Boston Cardinal Bernard Law, Washington Cardinal Theodore McCarrick, uh, and Cardinal George Pell in Austria, who actually did prison time for his sins. Then there was the whole embarrassing business of the Banco Ambrosiano, uh, which collapsed in 1984. In 82, it revealed a web of criminal connections, and the Vatican Bank was that bank's main shareholder. And I'm afraid it will be forever tarnished by those associations. It was all took place on his watch. And uh, somewhat controversially, he resisted artificial birth control, even the use of condoms to prevent the spread of AIDS. That was pretty bad. Um, but Above all, overall, it was his refusal to address the problem of sexual abuse by priests and his apparent support for the widespread cover-up of it at all levels in the church. Uh, some say his lack of action on priest misbehavior resulted from his being past it in old age and really not realizing what was going on and how serious it was. Oh, I'm sorry, that just won't wash. He, he is known to have instructed Cardinal Ratzinger to drag his feet in investigating these crimes. It was going on throughout his pontificate. It only became a big news story in the late stages of his old age. I'm afraid his behavior along that was just, along those lines, was just unforgivable. Well, what's my take on John Paul II? Was, was he a success? Uh, well, he, he certainly worked to heal rifts with other religions and atone for past horrors of the day of the church. That was really impressive and admirable. And by any, in any measure, that was a mark of success. But I believe that John Paul was trapped in his own script. As, as a Polish bishop, his entire focus had been on protecting the church from communism. He did a brilliant job of that, no question. But when he became Pope, that translated into protecting the church against anything and everyone, no matter what. And this led to his support for the notori notorious Degollado, uh, because he made so much money for the church. That led to his ignoring the sexual crimes of his clergy in order to protect them, uh, ignoring pressures to reconsider celibacy, admit women in the priesthood, allow contraception. I suppose because to reverse policy would, would have required that he admit that the church had been wrong. And, and that was just simply inconceivable. He just couldn't bring himself to do that. It was just as simple as that. So, however well-intentioned, I do not believe he was a success. Sorry about that. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I imagine uh, many of you won't. <laughs> But if you did, uh, please give me a like, the usual thing, uh, subscribe, uh, comment, uh, notify, and so forth. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot.